Hello everybody, today got something a little bit special, it's the M132 Microgun by Classic Army, so it is the four barreled version of a minigun in effect, it runs on either compressed air or green gas and a battery power of some description. So in the box you get the gun. It comes disassembled, so it comes with the handle dis uh, detached and the grip here detached. There is some wiring to put together, so you've got blue spade connector to go to blue spade connector, a red to go to red and a black to go to black. It's all colour coded, it's really easy to do. It's got two hoses which plug into the body. Again they're really easy to do, they just push in. It's uh, almost a Chinese finger trap, so you push it in and it will not come back out unless you press the release. It comes with a couple of HPA blocks so that you can run it on high pressure air. It comes with an Allen key so that you can put the long bolts that attach the handle on and the short bolts that hold on the grip. That is the correct size Allen key for them and it also comes with a smaller allen key to adjust the hop. So each of the four barrels has its own hop. In order to access that you need to pull out these clips, put them down to the side, take off this trap door and it is in this window here. Just to get some light on it, you rotate the barrel that little allen screw there is the hop adjustment for one of the barrels. Turn it again to the next barrel, you've got the hop adjustment again. And it really is just a case of put your allen key in, like so. Screw it down to apply hop and unscrew it to remove hop. Putting it back together, plate just drops back on. Your pins go through and your captive clips go through the holes at the bottom. Something which is rather cool about this is that it can run on green gas as well as HPA. And to do that, I have got a small tin of Neuprol 2 using a small tin of Neuprol, A because it fits in the chamber and B because it has a threaded top. So it needs to have a threaded top to work. That goes in there. Before doing that, so that I can show the barrel spinning without accidentally uh, shooting the room up. The battery to power the rotating drums goes in this container here. Pressing these two wings, like so lifts it off. It has a protection MOSFET fitted, Classic Army standard, so it will take an 11-1 battery. Push that back down, put all your wires back in. The motor that is in it is capable of doing 38 rounds per second, but there is another motor coming out which will be able to do up to 43 rounds a second I believe, 43-44. So now the battery's in, if I press the dovetail safety at the back and pull the trigger, you can see the barrel spin. You can see some BBs falling out of the end, that's because it has still loaded and every time it goes round it does open up the hot chamber for a BB to be loaded. So a couple of other bits that you get in the box are pipe, and connectors. This is to connect the outlet valve from the green gas to the inlet valve for the chamber. Again, you would, if you were doing HPA, you'd put the HPA valve straight into there and then straight to your tank and bypass this bit. So again, Chinese finger straps. So starting with the short bit, let's make life easy. Press it in. As far as it'll go, 
get your adapter bit, press that in, longer bit, push that in, and then bring it round and in at the outlet. Now comes the fiddly bit. So inside here, if you slide to open and lift it up, and you get, again, a tin of Nuprol green small, small for the size, Nuprol because it's threaded. Drop it down into there. You want the nozzle to fit into that hole there. So it's a bit of a fiddly job. Uh, thanks to the cameraman for holding it steady. So you see how it just dropped in. It's about 10 mil, two fifths of an inch below the rim. Uh, press down and turn clockwise. Just give me a second. We'll start screwing in. You'll hear gas start to escape. You need to screw past that. until it stops, so it will get nicely firmly tight. Close down the lid, shut it up. So it's now ready to rotate, it's ready to propel the BB. What you're gonna to need to do is load it up. So to load it up with BBs, unscrew this cap here. all the way out. A funnel will help with this bit, but you can still get them all in. Lift out this long spring followed by the plunger and bore your BBs down that tube. Once you've poured them in, it takes about 2,200 BBs to full capacity. Drop the follower back in, screw it down. Nice and tight and you are ready to go. So a few other bits on the micro gun. It's made from a heavy duty nylon fiber, nylon fiber construction. It weighs about nine pounds. Uh, I don't know what that is in English money, I'm afraid. And it's compatible with standard AG barrels, hop-ups and bookings, which make it Easy to upgrade if you want to, if you've got a favourite, Prometheus, Maple Leaf, something like that. So giving it a shooting demonstration against a 5.55 G&G MET system. So as you can see, nice rate of fire. Uh, wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. So you've just seen us do a shooting test on it. The sad bit about it running on green gas is it doesn't seem to last very long for a whole tin. Um, I mean, it got through probably about 2,000 BVs before it started to die, but that's just short of a full fill. Short control bursts, it'll do better. Because it's gas, you'll have a cool down effect on it. We chronoed it, which was an interesting experience, I'm not going to lie. And it's doing about 260 feet per second with a 0.2 on a new prol, a tin of new prol green. Obviously if you put HPA in, not to exceed 120 PSI, otherwise it starts blowing seals, then you will probably be able to get more than that. But even on green gas, you are looking at about 50 meters range, thanks to the adjustable hop. And then you're only who's on the receiving end of it. You're gonna hit them because you just start drawing circles, don't you? It is a great bit of kit, great bit of fun. It's not too heavy, it's quite lightweight thanks to the polymer build. The barrels are metal, just to help with the reinforcement of them spinning. So is the core, to stop the barrels from getting wobbly. 
it's somewhat a bit different at a more affordable price than the full six barrel version. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.